Hi, welcome. I'm going to take you through a series of videos that will show you how to get animating um, within Adobe Animate. And it's built around the WeJack Digital Technology Unit 2 um, project. So let's have a quick look. And we've got three units. The first digital technology unit is uh, the on-screen examination. We're really focusing on Unit 2, which is about digital practices. It's about 45 hours um, so there's quite a lot of time to get into this, but animation is complex. So um, from the teacher guidance, we can see that once we've cleaned our data and understood our data set and started to find the trends and ideas within the data, um, we're going to be developing a website and that will either have a game uh, or an animation. And we're focusing on the animation and it says there that we need to use an animation software and contain scenes. It also tells us that these are the 11 elements that we must include. And I'm going to kind of maybe not in this order, but but take you through these. So if you look at these initially and think I have no idea what these are, don't worry through the course uh, of these videos, we'll understand all of these parts. It, importantly, if we jump right to the last export animation as MP4, MP4 is just a video file. So the input is going to be a, a short 20 to 30 second animation that supports um, our ideas based upon the data set that we've um, been given. And our output is going to be an animation um, which is in the form of a video which can then be put within our website and played. Before we actually get into the animation, um, let's just remember that uh, we need to be able to sort, filter, sort of clean our data, and then ident identify trends and, and who our audience is um, and what they need. In, in the, this case, we've got a, a data set where we are looking at young people and their screen time habits. And we're trying to learn a little bit about age groups, uh, gender, and, and the kind of things, uh, kind of time that people are spending on, on different devices, um, which we are then going to create some kind of uh, um, video animation that, that kind of gives us those ideas and makes suggestions about you know, how we can potentially limit that time for mental health purposes, for uh, well-being purposes. We'll go into a research and development phase where we'll need to kind of figure out what, how we best do this. That's the creativity part. We'll be choosing animation, not the game in this series. Um, and then we'll also be thinking about how we can plan, etc. So just a quick heads up on storyboards. Um, I borrowed this storyboard just to, to sort of say... You know, you don't have to be great at drawing to create a storyboard, but a storyboard is a really, really helpful part of the prototyping process, the iterative process of coming up with your idea and visualizing it. So I'm showing you this as an example of excellence. Um, but to be honest, I would probably be doing something more like this. And certainly if I was working with 14 to 16 year olds, I would be suggesting that post-it notes or or doing this on an A4 piece of paper. It can be done digitally, but 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 the beauty of putting this on a post-it note is that I can kind of mix and move and add element other elements in. I'm not kind of committed. And as you can see, it's just photographed on the tabletop with my phone. And I think it serves the perfect uh, serves the pur purpose perfectly in terms of showing a little bit about the amount of time. I've put that in the top right. I've sort of said what what's happening. There's some arrows to help me look at where the animation might be moving and some text to just give me a kind of heads up on what this is sort of about and what might be said. And in that bottom right, I've even got, uh, so in the sixth picture, I've even got VO for voiceover. So it's just helping me understand visually what's happening in my story. I don't want to spend hours and hours animating if I come back to here and think well I wish I'd have planned this a little better. So once I've kind of got my ideas together and I've developed my idea for my animation um, a couple of things to think about are finding free assets that you might adapt or you might have to create your assets from scratch. Now if you're creating them from scratch you're going to need to know a little bit about Photoshop or Illustrator or 
or other tools that you might use, um, you probably need to know how to adapt some of these uh, free assets. And the kinds of things I'm talking about are things like finding audio. So you might want um, a soundtrack to help this out. You might want to record your own voiceover from scratch. But a soundtrack, you might go to somewhere like bensound.com. Let me show you some of these sites. So for example, pexels.com is one of many uh, sites that offer you uh, a search option, actually for video and for photography. So this could be really helpful, uh, the kinds of images that you might want to use for backgrounds. Uh, you might want characters to work from. So pexels.com, not pixels, pexels is quite a good one. So Vector Easy uh, will allow you to find vector graphics and photos. Um, some of them are paid, some of them are free, uh, which worth kind of looking at. Really nice site. Uh, ben Sound, again, that mix of free and uh, premium content. So just be wary of what, where you're sending kids. But again, a really nice, simple site where you can find some excellent backing tracks that you might want to use to help with your audio. Um, other places that you might need to pay, uh, story blocks, etc. Noun Project is always quite interesting. So lots of free resources available um, if you look in the right place and thinking about how you might start to gather your assets together before you start animating. So in uh, in this project, and I've given everybody these assets, I've created folders and now I'm working on a Mac but it'd be the same on a PC, um, folders of all the different elements that I might need to use in my animation. So you can see where I've got arms, different types of arms, um, outputted as PNGs or JPEGs so I can use those nicely, um, Dr. Martin's boots, skulls, all kinds of backgrounds. Um, and then my social media graphics. So that's just some of the assets that I've used in, in my animation. But again, really, really important to get properly organized so that you know where all the assets you need for all the elements and parts of your animation are. Top tip um, to get folks thinking about animation and thinking about this idea of um, each individual picture that moves incrementally, uh, played back at speed, creates the uh, illusion of movement. And I think something like this is a great place to start and even a really good place to start with the students creating a flip book. So let me just show you this one. I just started watching this earlier. I've been getting a lot of requests to make a flip book tutorial. So so loads of different flip books on, on YouTube, on the internet, definitely worth having a look at about getting students just started with that idea of lots of images that move incrementally, create the idea of motion. So uh, that's something we'll get into when we get into animate, but it's kind of a really nice preface to actually getting going animating. Um, we'll take you through the user interface, but again, I, I sometimes find that students find this and, and teachers find this quite challenging. Um, what we actually use isn't all of this we only need to know a fraction so I'm going to try and take you through the key elements but just you know three areas to consider um, the tools on the left the timeline is down the bottom and then the properties and libraries and all the assets uh, are on the right hand side the center is called the stage so we're going to be putting everything we want to see on the stage and then making our animation happen As I've said, all the assets for the project that I've created are available. So if you want to look at how the actual flash documents, the flash files, what they look like and all the component parts of those, you've got access to them. You've also got access to all the elements of uh, the animation, including the sound, the images, etc. Um, and I'll give you the output as well. So let's get started in Animate. 